we're on a job that we put in last year. We're changing out all of the old cleanouts to our leaf filter cleanouts. We're actually changing out the catch basins to our most current catch basin. It's going to hold a gallon of sediment and shingle gravel. So we're upgrading the system. We installed this system last year, over a year ago now. It was a three inch system and we vented it with the three inch Ys. We have a four inch leaf filter with a three inch adapter. Beautiful, no tools required, slip fit. This is a two by three. We got the leaf filter inside it. It's vented up here. So if the line freezes and then we have a thaw and you got to get the water off the roof because you don't want to bend your gutter trough. That's what looks unsightly is when you can't get the water off the roof because of a clog or a frozen line if you're here in the north like we are. So you have to vent it. So these vented cleanouts are fantastic. You can pop the grate out and you can run a garden hose through it. The only thing, and they're not catching the leaves. You can see we have trees. We have a lot of trees. And those leaves get airborne as they shake loose from these tall oak trees, and they really cause a problem. We have the smaller catch basins that we put in a year and a half ago. We're going to swap those out for our new sediment trap. Here's all the three inch inline sediment traps. Got our three inch adapter on them. Here's our risers. Slip fit, no glue, no tape. The homeowner is going to get an upgrade of the larger sediment trap. This is going to hold a gallon's worth of shingle gravel and sediment. All right, so Francisco went ahead and he swapped out the old vented cleanout. For a vented clean out leaf filter this is an upgrade so this improves flow rate and it catches all the leaves it screens out all the big organic materials so you don't end up with clogs in your underground buried downspout system up here at the top you still have a vent and then it's super easy to access you just come in here get the leaves out the center is removable so if you need to run a camera or a jetter, for whatever reason. You wanna push a garden hose through, just for a peace of mind. Super easy, does everything. And it looks really nice too. The upgrade has been made. You can see how nice that looks, how easy it adapts. Beautiful install, two by three, no screws, no tools, just slips on, really nice. So we did an upgrade. This vented clean-out looks so much nicer, doesn't take away from the home. You don't have to have the screen in. We're going to have the screen in place if this house needs it badly. With all the big trees that are around here. You can see all the leaves that have been blowing around. We want to prevent all those big leaves from finding their way into the downspout system. Right here we had a 3 inch downspout system. That ended up tying into a four inch main. So we have a three inch line here. And we have a four inch main that begins right there. So on the catch basin, we have a three inch coupler on one end and a four inch coupler on the other. We're putting fabric down so that we can put stone on the fabric and then set the basin on the stone. <laughs> We got a three inch coupler to the left. We got four inch coupler on the right. You can see how easy that connects. Super quick, easy connect, quick connect. Beautiful.
Beautiful. Three inch coupler, then to a four inch main. Really nice. The crew used one riser to bring it to grade. We don't want mosquitoes breeding, so we're going to use the solid center in the middle of the turf restrictor plate. Easy to pop that out, clean it, and a one gallon inline sediment trap. It came out really nice, beautiful. You guys did an amazing job. Real nice upgrade to the system. The guys did a really great job of building up the dirt and packing it around the catch basin. They leave it a little high and then they just push the lid down into the dirt. This was a, the perfect execution of how to install an inline catch basin. Beautiful job. Beautiful. Alright, the guys just got done cleaning up, got an upgraded leaf filter, upgraded inline catch basins, give you the nickel tour, beautiful installation of a vent to clean out leaf filter, look at that upgrade, looks great, looks real modern, it's going to stand the test of time, got the inline catch basin with a one gallon capacity for sediment over here two inline catch basins vented clean out leaf filter homeowners got power cords out here vented clean out leaf filter this was a whole house upgrade you guys did a beautiful job barely tell we were here that's the inline catch basin with the solid plug in the turf restrictor plate and the vented clean out leaf filter beautiful job if you found any of this information helpful give us a thumbs up it supports the channel if you have any questions about doing an upgrade on an existing underground buried downspout system leave them in the comments section i'm your host robert sherwood and until that next video.